her about the crazy things you do. I know, you know, I do crazy things too. Today we're doing, well, we're going to mix a little bit of Two Steps Beyond and questions, intuitive questions. Okay, not necessarily from email, but just from people that you know. Okay, the first one is, why do men say that they're part Cherokee? And why do people say, you know, they got this thing going where everybody think they're part Cherokee? It says Europeans were not the only group of outsiders uh, within the 18th century. The Cherokees intermingled, okay, by the early 19th century. A small group of wealthy Cherokee Keats adopted racial slavery, acquiring black slaves for the from the African slave market. Okay, seven percent of Cherokee families owned slaves by the mid eighteen thirties. A small number, but enough to give rise to a new uh, perversive idea in black culture. Descendants from a Cherokee ancestors. So in other words, when the Cherokees start taking up, uh, getting buying slaves from the slave market, they start, you know, intermingling with slaves. And so you have what we call the black Indian. I talked about that before. And that's how a lot of people think that they're, or they could be right, that they're part Cherokee. You have to really check it out. Okay? So that's that question. But now, the, the next question, and then I'm going to get to two steps beyond, is name 11 Native American tribes. Blackfoot, Cherokees, Chickawa, Comanche, Iroquois, Kichin, Pima, Pawnee, Osage Nation, O.T., Shashon, and the Sioux, uh, yeah, the Sioux, S-I-O-U-X, okay, that's 11, that should be 11, I said Chickawa, okay, now, among those, I think the Comanches were always talked about, okay, I think they were the more popular ones, anyway. So there you have that. Now let's talk about this two-step beyond deal. There was a man born in 1980, September 25th, in Georgia. There was a man born September 26, 1989, in Florida. Both were African American. Both today are totaled to be six, between 60 and $65 million. How is that possible? Both African American. One is Tip Harris, as you know him, from... T.I. and Tiny Family Hustle and being an actor and a rapper. The other one you know from telecommunications with figures, F3, cell phones, and etc. I talked about him before in a previous tape. But how is it that these two men born a day apart are worth approximately the same amount? 60 to 65 million dollars. They don't even know each other. That's weird. That's three steps beyond. Okay, three steps beyond. They don't know each other. I don't know if Tip has even heard of uh, Freddie Figures. He may have by now. But they both net worth is between 60 and $65 million. And they were born a day apart, nine years apart. Now that is three, two or three steps beyond. That's weird. That is weird to me. I don't know what you think about it, but I told you Libras do have a tendency to be some of the richer up there, you know. All right. They're the richer ones. Not all the time, but enough to be mentioned. And then there's one other one. This is a white guy. This is weird to me. Maybe it's not weird to you. Okay. He's a Leo. He got so many planets in Leo in his horoscope. 
is weird. I never seen a horoscope like his. He's a billionaire. Nicholas Burger, the Burger King, um, you know, owner, got the most stock anyway. So I said to myself, when he grew up, he was under the guidance of a priest or something. You know, a religious person helped him. But he said he spent a lot of time alone as a child. Okay. His mother was an actress. And his father was Heinz Bergman, the one who's friends with Picasso. And I love Picasso art. I love art, period. Any kind of art. I love artists. So...